One of the things that I observe is that the movements that are happening now, and we, I do believe that the Stein Baraka Green Party campaign represents an opportunity for a movement of movements or the electoral expression of them. Uh, but it's even deeper because I would say this, the growing movements in this country that exist now are beyond the Green Party. Uh, they're Black Lives Matter, Occupy Wall Street, Move to Amend and the campaign to abolish corporate constitutional rights, the movement for climate justice, the movement to end the prison industrial complex, the movement against the corporatization of education. The, I could go on, right? All of these movements, what I'm experiencing is that they are getting larger, stronger, better organized, more militant, a sharper analysis around power. Here's my prediction. I believe these movements will, will I, I believe these movements will either completely transform the existing Democratic Party or completely destroy it. Now, I think it's the latter, but I'm open to either. But you see, I, think, I don't think that the ruling elite who control both the Democratic and the Republican parties are going to allow these movements to be transformational. So I tell people, if you're in the Democratic Party, you know, then you know, good luck to you. But I had 20 years of, uh, of efforts within that party and have come to the conclusion objectively that as hard as it is to create an alternative independent party, it's actually more effective and much more likely to succeed in creating the new transformed world that I want to live in by doing it through independent political mm -hmm. force. I'm wondering what you think about no, that. No, I think that's a very important point. And in fact, everything you said is a sort of highlights that this is not a question of fetish, it's a question of strategy, you know, what actually would work. If there was any evidence that uh, the Democratic Party could, in from within, be moved to the left where we could present our own agenda and have that agenda be debated and discussed openly within the ranks of the Democratic Party. And maybe we would lose some battles, but we would win some battles and we could internally push the party to the left. Then I would think about it seriously. You know, so as, as you said, uh, even though it seems counterintuitive to people, it is going to be uh, easier. In fact, I would say it is going to be possible <laughs> to build for social change by building our own independent strength. At this moment, I don't see how it is even possible to do that from within the Democratic Party for the simple reason that the structures of the Democratic Party are very much entrenched in the hands of the power brokers, of the representatives of the billionaire class, as Sanders talked about, and their agenda is completely opposite. It's 180 degree opposite to our agenda. So it is going to be a pointless exercise, just like it has been in all the decades before us. It's going to be a pointless exercise if we try to find common ground with our enemies. <laughs> so so let me the ask. only way to move forward is to build our own independent strength.